general statements using addition, subtraction, multiplication with odd even numbers. What is it? A statement that is not about particular examples is a rule that always works. Uh, why? C contributes to your arguments in papers or, or in real life. Interesting fact. Dogs have a remarkable sense of smell. They are capable of di differentiating odors in concentrations nearly 100 million times lower than humans, which means to say that humans need a lot more of the odor around for us to be able to smell it. So let's take a look. Uh, step one, look at the first number, second number, and result. Step two, do a few examples to check. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Can you come up with a general statement yet? Uh, not really, there's only one. So let's do another example. So we have 12 plus 34 is equal to 46. Uh, you might be able to come up with a general statement, but let's do one more uh, example to see and get it. So we get 322 plus 308 is equal to 630. So with this, we've done three different examples with three different types of numbers, and you should be able, and we, we can come up with a general statement using e even and odd numbers, and this one is an even plus even is equal to even. So let's take a look at this next example. We have 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. So let's do another example to, to, to check. We have 58 minus 32 is equal to 26. So you want to take a look at each number. Now let's do one more example with the different types of numbers. We have 322 minus 308 equals 14. So we've done different examples with different numbers, and now we can create a general statement of even minus an even is equal to even. Now remember, general statement is always true. So if you always do an even minus even, you're going to get an even number. Now let's take a look at the next example. 6 plus 3 is 9. 52 plus 21 is 73. And finally, 312 plus 505 is equal to 817. What do you think the general statement is for this one? Well, if you got even plus odd is equal to odd, you got it correct. Now, you also may be wondering, what happens if you flip 6 and 3 or 52 and 21? Well, I'll leave that to you to verify. But it, this is the general statement as well. An odd plus an even is equal to an odd. Now, take a look at the next one. 5 plus 3 is 8. Let's do another one to check. 19 plus 71 is 90. Maybe you already have a general statement, but let's do one more to verify. 201 plus 515 equals 716. So we take a look at the first number, the second number, and the result. So let's go ahead and then see what we get as the general statement of for this particular for these, for these examples. So an odd plus an odd is equal to even. So if you got that general statement for that one, great. Now let's take a look at this next, this next one. 9 minus 5 is 4. 49 minus 31 is equal to 18. 581 minus 471 is equal to 110. We have three different numbers, uh, examples with three different types of numbers. And you can come up with the statement of an odd minus an odd is equal to even. So this is always the case. And will, and will be true always. So let's take a look at the final example of addition and subtraction. Is 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. 69 minus 16 is equal to 53. 435 minus 314 is equal to 112. So, and with the general statement is, an odd minus an even is equal to odd. Now, once again, you may be wondering what happens if you have an even mi minus an odd. Well, you, you get an odd number still. And I'll leave that for you to verify yourself. Now let's take a look at all these uh, general statements that we that we uh, saw, and let's and then let's see what what do you notice from uh, from all these eight different general statements. Go ahead and pause the video. See if you can come up with some things you notice, and we'll talk about the the main ones in a few seconds. So the first thing that you could notice is when adding or subtracting, and both are even or odd numbers. It is always even. Okay, the next thing that you could notice is when adding or subtracting with one even and one odd number, it is always odd. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to multiplication. And we have 4 times 6 is equal to 24. 
Can you come up with a general statement with just one example? No, you need to do a few more in order to figure out if it's always the case. So then we need to do 12 times 10, which is equal to 120. 124 times 420, which is equal to 52,080. So we have three different examples with three different types of numbers. You can come up with a, a general statement more or less with, the, with this amount. And you can go ahead and come up with the fact that an even times an even is equal to an even. So let's take a look at the next example. 9 times 3 is 27. 31 times 21 is equal to 651. 100, uh, 131 times 309 is equal to 40,471. 40, can you come up with a general statement with these different examples? Yes, you can. And it is an odd times an odd is equal to an odd. Take a look at the last example. 6 times 9 is equal to 54. 64 times 21 is equal to 1,344. 410 times 409 is equal to 167,690. So can you come up with the rule for this one? Yes, you can because we have enough examples and they're all different. So an even times an odd is equal to an even. Now you may be thinking, what happens if you flip? Ah, uh, well, an odd times an even is equal to an even. I will let you verify that. So we have four, four cases or four general statements, and what do you notice? So go ahead and pause so you can see if you can come up with, uh, with some things that you notice and see if they're the same. So let's go ahead. The first thing that you could notice is multiplying and both are even or odd numbers. It is always the same type. The next thing you could notice is multiplying and there is one, one even and one odd number. It is always even. So here it is, your turn part one. So go ahead and pause the video and take your time to answer these questions and see if, if you get them correct. So I'm going to show you the answers in 3, 2, and 1. Here are the uh, answers with examples for each, each one. So if you got them correct, well done. If you didn't, there's always tomorrow. So let's go ahead and do part 2 as uh, now. So here's part 2. Answer the questions and see if you get them correct. So uh, go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer these questions. I'm going to show you the answers in three, two, and one. So here are the examples. Now remember, if you haven't mastered the rules, then you answer the expre the, uh, then answer the expression so you then can answer it with more confidence. And if you got the answers correct, well done. If you didn't, there's always tomorrow.